Hi everyone, welcome to the session where we will discuss why logistic regression and why not linear regression is used to solve the classification problems. Okay, so let's start. See, in the time of COVID, most of us is locked in our house and working from home and we are, have quarantined ourselves. And in the process, 99% of the human being have gained weight. So let's create a model that will provide a probability and the odds of classifying the obese and not obese. The line of action for this video is, first of all, we'll create a model using python that will provide the probability and odds of being approved for any weight and then they, we will discover, discover what weight is associated with the probability of 50 percentage followed by we will input our weight into the model to determine the probability and odds of being obese or not and then also i'll show how to improve your weight suppose you are overweight then how much weight you need to shed so that you belong to the not obese category so first of all we know uh, what is linear regression so first of all before starting let's discuss about the residual sum of squares it is a sum of square of residuals and it is a measure of discrepancy between the data and the estimation model. Small RS, uh, residual sum of squares indicates a tight fit of the model and the smaller the residual sum of square is the better is my model. Actually this will be nothing but it will take into consideration the best line which has the smallest sum of square residual from all these points and that is considered as my best fit line. What I will do I will create a program wherein my x axis will be my weight and my y axis will be whether I am obese or and we will instead of of logistic regression we will first see negatives of implementing binary classification model with linear regression so this is nothing but this is my values here my weights and my uh, category when it's an obese is not obese and z1 is obese so we'll implement this we'll execute this so this is nothing just scatter plot of typical binary classification this one shows that people with those weights are obese and this showed they are not obese now before proceeding i would just want to show that the equation of linear regression is y is equal to mx plus c now what i will do now is after this we will create our linear regression model and then we will fit and then we will again we will plot the same just we need to add one line plt dot plot okay so this is my scattered plot with my model this this line is nothing but this is my model the linear regression line the best fit line so the best fit line can have the equation in, in this there are various terms uh, which we follow like y is equal to mx plus e h theta x is equal to c 0 plus theta 1 x and also y is equal to w transpose x plus b here all the terms are given m is slopes c is intercept theta 0 is slope theta 1 is intercept w transpose is nothing but the uh, it's a matrix of the uh, the weights after this what we will do here we will see what is my weight for which weight i'll get the threshold value suppose for now what we will do let's input the below weight these weights and check the target value so the weights are 45 25 the weights given are these are my weights and we will check the, the target value for this way uh, linear regression model dot predict np dot array we will pass suppose first 45 dot so the value here is minus 1.6 it, it will go down if you take here okay just copy this image copy the image and open page suppose 45 is here okay for some of the category it is like 45 so it is this equation of the line this model will come down and it will touch my y-axis here which is somewhere around z minus 0 0.3 in this case and in our case it is minus 1.36 okay so this is also one of the reason why we will not use linear regression i'll come to that okay similarly we'll give 25 okay and then we'll change the value here now we'll execute this one by one okay for 25 it is even it will come below it is in negative for uh, 55 also it is in negative let's see for 65 what is the value it isn't positive it is going in the positive direction positive direction means it will come for 65 it will come somewhere here and it will meet the y-axis here which is my target value for 75 what is my value which is 0.97 so ultimately my value which will be my threshold value which is uh, 0 point will be somewhere between 65 and uh, 75 Let, let's take it as 68 okay so this is coming around 43 we will again change it to 69 so for the weight 69 69 or above 69 it will be obese and below that it will be non obese when we are discussing here let's come to this function okay if my theta x or the y the function y okay y the value if it is greater than function of x is greater than 0 0.5 then the value here will be classified as 1 and if it is less than 0 0.5 then it is will be classified as 0 till here we know everything is being classified correctly okay
so these are this almost everything here is cor uh, coming perfectly correct so if this is the case why we require logistic regression we can easily solve all the linear regression problem through logistic regression so the catch is the place where we have the place where we have imbalanced data set or the outliers regression will fail miserably and we i'll show you that so for that what i will do i will add some new points okay i'll say x underscore new i'll say the same data set and I'll add two more points here. I'll say this x underscore new, y underscore new, and I'll add two values. These are my outliers. Okay. And after this, I will uh, create one more uh, linear regression model. And then we'll, uh, we will simply plot this that's where is the catch so what we can see that the line adjusts itself okay here you can see this line has adjusted itself due to the addition of the new outliers okay this new data set and because of this, now I'll show you the coefficient and the threshold value will also get changed. So how that will change? Now, initially we saw that the threshold value for the weight was 69, but now it will definitely change. So this was my, this is how I, I was getting my threshold value. Now for the new uh, model, what is my value? This is LR underscore new. And then we will just check what is the, we'll check for 55. So it is very less. 0.2 so we have to increase our value we will make it as 70 okay for 70 it's coming around 40 then we will change it to uh, 8 change it to 70 for 76 weight the threshold value is 46 what does it mean if you take this example for 76 it is lies here it is coming here and it is going here 0.46 here somewhere around uh, here here so it's still it's not fine so we, we need to go as near as possible we will take 79 79 and we will see exactly now so you can see here my threshold value has increased by 10 kgs so which is a big blunder by a model if i am getting few if i am getting few outliers and which have a terrible impact on my model so if you are if it is working on some real life data set or somewhere then just imagine in what it will do the people who are obese they will be classified as not obese or uh, people who have cancer they will be classified as not cancer okay and at the end their cancer might be detected detected when there is it's very late this is the reason we not use we will not use linear regression to solve the binary classification now let's do something uh, also i want to show you one more thing is uh, the coefficient also changed okay for linear regression what was my coefficient it was my coefficient okay my slope basically and for uh, Because coefficient is nothing but my slope, right? And slope is if you get the slope, it will be tan theta. I'll show you in one of my pics how this slope will change and what's the relation with tan theta and how it will. It's just the elementary mathematics, trigonometry basically. Let, so this is the reason why we will not use linear regression, okay, for solving classification problem. Why simple linear regression cannot be used for this kind of problem? See, simple linear regression is one is uh, one continuous numeric variable predicting another continuous numeric variable and in classification we need to uh, predict the category. Similar is the case with multiple linear regression where we are using the uh, continuous numeric variable, multiple continuous numeric variable to predict another continuous numeric variable and again for uh, like a non-linear regression like polynomial or any other what we do in that case also we have a quantitative variable predicting another quantitative variable and moreover in this case the data will be curvilinear so it will not be a straight line so this is also not possible to do it, it is also not advisable to use a polynomial uh, linear regression for predicting categories now this is one of the place where you might be asked questions in the interview now applying regression on the classification problem will have the following error first of all the binary data does not have a normal distribution which is a condition needed for the most other types of regression which is nothing but the assumptions of linear regression that the predicted values of the dependent variable the second point okay can go beyond zero and one if you can see here the values for 
for a weight 80 my value is my uh, 1.2 and for uh, weight 45 my value is nothing but how much somewhere on uh, for 25 kg my value somewhere on point, uh, minus 0 0.3 so it is going against the laws of prob probability right in probability you can have the values between 0 and 1 and you cannot have 1.2 1.5 1.6 200 anything it should be between 0 and 0 and 1 so that's why we cannot go uh, like beyond 0 and 1 and we cannot use linear regression again outliers and imbalanced data set which has have which will uh, have a huge impact on the linear regression prediction and we have already seen that probabilities is this is also one important point probability is often not linear uh, such as u shape where probability is very high or low at the extreme of the values see this is nothing but you take the example of the kids or the people above 65 70 years they are more vulnerable to the disease okay because those are the extreme points okay so thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button subscribe to this channel and i have not emphasized much in in uh, the odds my next video which will be, is will be related to the log of odds and after that i am i'll I'll derive the logistic regression and you can use that in your interview. That is one of the like uh, thing I am looking for. Okay, so I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.